Welcome everybody to my latest video back with something a little bit different didn't go to a car boot sale today I uh, still feel a bit under the weather and uh, yeah I uh, watched uh, Retro Rummage this morning and uh, talking about collecting for the uh, PS2 for the Rockstar games and yeah it just made me think and um, yeah, I just wanted to put it out there so you can see this is all my PlayStation collection this is not all my PS2 games I probably have um, this is probably less than half of all my PS2 games and um, the rest are in sort of storage at the moment and a few bits um, yeah, dotted around the place but um, yeah so these are the ones that I want to keep on the shelf anyway but um, I know a lot of people like to put their games in alphabetical order alphabetise on the shelves but yeah I just like to be a bit different I suppose and um, yeah I, um, I was looking through and so yeah, I put all my Capcom games, well mostly um, Capcom, um, together. Uh, still missing quite a few, but um, yeah, that's what I like to do, is I like to uh, to put them all together. And anyway, yeah, Retro Rummage was talking about the uh, Rockstar for the PS2 subset. I think I have them all. I need a couple of upgrades, a couple of manuals. I, need, I want to upgrade Max Payne from a Platinum and Oni from a platinum and i think i need a manual for the surfing one um but yeah apart from that i think everything's good so yeah you got the max Payne one and two surfing h3o only and of course you got the gta uh, double pack um gta3 and vice city san andreas and you got the what, liberty city stories vice city stories warriors red dead revolver state of emergency um bully or Candon cab Camden edit, Candis Camden edit, uh, the Smuggler Run games one and two, and you got Midnight Club one, two, and three. That's the double edition remix. I think there is just a normal standard Midnight Club three uh, double edition, and you got Manhunt one and two. Um, so yeah, I like to sort of stick them all together and uh, not put them in alphabetical order. Moving on, you can see. Uh, this section here, I've got the Silent Hill games together. Uh, of course, you've got the Shadow of Colossus Ico. And then you can see um got the Dragon Ball Budokai, 1, 2, 3. And then the Tenkaichi, 1, 2, 3. The Ratchet and Clank, Jax, Jax. Um, not got all those. A few Need for Speed ones there. A few of the random ones, like the Star Wars Battlefront. Um... So it's not, you know, I like to just try and stick them together if I can. Uh, like the SSX, you can see God of War, the Zone of Enders there together. Uh, Punisher at the top, fantastic game. Uh, this section here got all shmups. And then you've got the collections. So you've got the Atari in television, uh, Midway Arcade Treasures 2. I have got uh, all three of them on the Xbox, so I'm not desperate to get them all on the PS2. You've got the Namco, Sega, uh, the Sonic ones, Taito 1 and 2, and Capcom 1 and 2. And then this section here is more or less all fighting games. And then Time Splitters 1, 2, 3. And then here you've got the Simpsons games. Spyro missing, uh, is it a new beginning? I've got that on the Xbox and Crash. There's a Crash game on Mind Over Mutant that I'm missing, but I've got that on the 360. Uh, yeah, so that's what I like to do. Um, be a bit different, and uh, that's the way I like to uh, to store my games. I'll move over to the um, Mega Drive. Show you those. So yeah, moving over to the Mega Drive, I've got a couple of Xbox uh, games there because I've got no room for them at the moment. But I have got these in alphabetical order. Some people would say that's not quite alphabetical order because, you know, you go by the first letter. Then obviously if you've got two A's, then you go by the second letter and so on. But I'm not bothered, you know, A, B, C, D, and whatever. So I've got one row, all the A's, B's, blah, blah, blah in order that side but i don't carry it on when i get down to the second row i'll start again with the a's b's so basically we've got two rows 
from A to Z. Um, found that in a charity shop for 50p onslaught. Um, goes for a couple hundred quid. Um, that was a fantastic find that day. Yeah, if you're not seen that uh, quick video I did, um, it's all complete in there. Not bad condition. 50p a pay for that. And uh, yeah, so that's the way I, uh, I like to do That's the Mega Drive. Moving over to the Wii, you can see I've got all the Mario ones together. Uh, need to sort these out properly, really, because, you know, I've just been sticking like that doesn't need to be there. Um, that doesn't need to be there. That doesn't need to be there. But yeah, you can see I've got the Mario ones together as well on the Wii U. And over here on the DS, Sonic ones together on the DS here. So yeah, just something a bit different. Uh, I need to work um, through other games, like PS4 and stuff like that. Maybe do the same. PS3, I don't know. But uh, yeah, just a little bit different. Quick video. Um, yeah, just something a little bit different just to show you. Because uh, there's no car boot um, pickups today. Anyway, yeah, that's it for the video. Um, let us know what you do if you put your games in alphabetical order or you just collect by subsets or whatever. Yeah, leave us, leave us a comment. Anyway, to the next video, everybody take it easy, stay safe. Bye-bye.